What is going on guys? My name is Jacob and if you're new here, I make videos about trading psychology, analysis, and ways to conquer your biggest obstacles so that you can become the trader that you've always wanted to be. So if that sounds like something you're into, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button down below so you see more videos like these. Now in my previous video, I talked about a few things to remember when you're taking the FTMO challenge, which I think was helpful, but I seriously think that this right here will set your trading results apart from other traders. Don't believe me? Let's get into this. Now, I'm sure you might be in a situation where you've been trying to become a profitable trader for a while, but things may have just not panned out the way that you wanted them to, right? Or you could be someone who is just now looking to start earning an income from their trading, and you've decided a funding platform may be the best way to go about it. Either way, I do think this will help you. Now, here's the reason. You're trying to do too much with too little. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, what I mean is that you're trying to take trading like it's a sprint rather than a marathon. But more specifically, you're trying to reach a high profit target that is just outside the scope of what you should be looking for for that account size. Now, I'm going to explain what I mean through having a funded account, but having this mindset will allow you to have a higher passing rate when it comes to your FTMO challenges as well. So let's say we're putting ourselves in the situation where we're completely funded by FTMO with a 50K funded account and we're looking to start profiting from our account. What's the number that pops into your head if I ask you what is the monthly goal for that account? If you're anything like a lot of people, I'd say that number is probably 10%. 15% or even as high as 20%. This means that in this case, you're looking to make a minimum of $5,000 a month from your 50K funded account. This also means you're looking to use the max leverage of your account, which is managing your, even managing your risk to the very T, excuse me. You could be putting yourself in a stressful situation with days where you may be experiencing a significant drawdown of 1% or higher. Now, what if I said, instead of doing that, you lower your goal from that 10% to 6% or $3,000 a month. Now that monthly goal is looking a lot easier and less stressful. Instead of having to make minimum 0.5% a day, if you're thinking about 20 trading days in a month and risking potentially 1% or greater, you're now looking to only have to make 0.3% a day and risking 0.6% a day or so and that's provided you're using a risk to reward ratio that's less than one to one. Now I know some people in the comment sections are gonna be like, ah, Jacob, that's boring. That's not the kind of advice I'm looking for. Well, you're right, it is boring. But what you need to remember is that trading is supposed to be boring because you're essentially sticking to one strategy and using it over and over and over. So if this sounds boring to you, that may be a sign that you're not sticking to your strategy in order to attempt to reach those large gains. Here's some perspective as well. If you take the US 30, which is what I personally trade, for example, on average, the US 30 or the Dow Jones Industrial Average grows about 7.7% .7 a year. That means that even if you were a profitable trader only gaining 1% a month, you're already beating the market. You're already beating the market growth, the average market growth of the entire Dow Jones Industrial Average. So think about that the next time that your monthly percentage growth of your account comes into your thought and you're wondering what it should be. Now, is that to say that you can't one day be a trader making 10 to 15 grand a month or more from your account? Not at all, right? If you take that same 6% monthly goal to a 200K funded account, you're looking at $12,000 a month, which is a considerable chunk of change to most people. And that's going to lead to being able to scale that account to even more, right? You're not stuck at that 200K with a lot of these funding platforms. You're able to scale that up and up and up as you consistently profit on the account. So guys, if that was helpful, feel free to drop a like and subscribe for more. Comment down below what you would like to see next, right? All right. Appreciate it. Peace.